Hello, it's Stefan here with a quick tutorial on how to fix missing sample references in Contact. Most people haven't had any problems with our libraries, but some reported Contact not finding the samples. Now that may be because of the way your particular copy of Contact is set up, as it can be configured to look for samples in absolute or relative paths. I don't know, whatever the reason, if you do happen to repeatedly run into the annoying missing samples dialog, then hopefully this tutorial will help you. For this demo, I'm using our percussive innuendo sound library, but the same principle applies to any other library as well. I've made a copy with all sample references already broken onto this external drive. This is just a USB drive, not a real audio drive, but it's good enough to show you the procedure. Before we start, please double check that your library folder is organized properly. As you may already know, Percussive Innuendo comes in several smaller download chunks and they should be properly arranged on your disk like so. Here is a master folder which contains one folder for all the dry sounds and one folder for all the wet sounds. And there's also a documentation folder. So please make sure the dry sounds and the wet sounds are clearly separated. Don't mix them all in one folder so you and your plugins don't get confused. I'm using an older version of Contact here, but for the purpose of this tutorial, that's all we need. Here is the external disk. And let's try to load, say, the first instrument, like this. And you see that Contact reports that it can't find the samples. Now, of course, you can tell it to search automatically or manually, and that will work. But the problem with that is that Contact will not remember this because searching and finding the samples will not update the file references in the instrument. So the next time you want to load the same instrument, it will display the error again. That's not what we want, so let's cancel out of this dialog. And uh, go up to this menu here. This is where you create, save and load instruments. And the last entry is the batch resave option. Let's select that. And contact puts up a warning because we are about to permanently alter file references, which can be dangerous. But in our case, that's just what we want. So I click yes. And now I can point to a folder, a library or even an entire volume of instruments. I'm choosing the master folder for percussive innuendo and contact goes about searching for instruments with missing samples. Now there may be some files in these folders and subfolders that do not apply to contact, but that's okay as they will be ignored. So here's a list of missing samples and the next step now is to resolve these references. I'm doing this manually because that's actually the fastest way in this case. I only need to choose the exact same folder because I know that all samples are in fact in the various subfolders here somewhere. So let's choose the same folder and you can watch the number of missing samples decreasing rapidly as contact finds them. Once contact finishes that, it will then open each and every instrument in the folder we specified in turn, assign the missing samples it just found and then resave it with the updated references. Here we go, it's doing that. You can see all instruments are marked OK in this list. Now this may take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video for a moment. OK, done. Now let's click the instrument again. And there it is. Let's try another one, maybe from the wet section. How about a nice ending sound for this tutorial? Boom, there you go. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, you can drop me a note via my webpage located at rootsounds.com.